Hey there and welcome to No Recipe Required. I'm Dave and tonight I'm super excited because I'm going to show you the recipe that made me a broccoli lover. I, uh, you know, I never really cared for the vegetable frankly but I started playing with it trying to get it into uh, different recipes and I, uh, I did this broccoli gratin dish with a nice crispy crust, uh, just a little bit of breadcrumbs, some other ingredients in there and it's killer. Let's go ahead and show you how to do it. For our broccoli gratin, First thing I'm going to do is just saute off some onion. This is just, um, you know, maybe a quarter of an onion sliced finely. I'm just going to let those um, slices wilt down and then uh, we're going to come back and toss our, um, toss our broccoli in here, cook with it, we'll add a little bit of garlic, top it all, and then it'll, uh, then it'll all kind of go in the oven. Okay, once my onions are sauteed down, nicely caramelized, I'm going to add a uh, clove of garlic and my broccoli, maybe a touch more oil, and we just added a new ingredient, so we're going to re-season with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then I'm going to let um, this broccoli just kind of come up to temperature. We don't need to cook it the, um, the full way, but I do want to get it partially cooked um, and let the flavors kind of mingle with the, uh, with the onion and garlic that was in there. So this will go for probably five minutes over medium heat. You don't need to be in there tossing around too much, just uh, every once in a while, give it a little toss. To make our broccoli gratin nice and tasty, we're gonna add a little bit of breadcrumb and Parmesan cheese, about equal amounts. And uh, we're gonna kind of top it with this, toss it around just a little bit. To make these um, you know, breadcrumbs and cheese kind of crisp up, and get nice and flavorful in the um, in the oven. You just add a little bit of um, olive oil to them, and that's going to help them kind of fry a little bit in the um, in the heat of the oven. So you just do that. You mix it in. Let's go finish up our broccoli on the stovetop. Then we'll uh, we'll add it all together. My broccoli's been going now for a couple minutes. You know, frankly, just kind of looking at it, smelling it, seeing it, hearing it. Pan feels a little dry for me, so I'm going to add a touch more olive oil. And immediately, I don't know if you can hear that, but the, the sound changes, right? It becomes a little bit more of a fry sound, which is, uh, which is good, a good thing. I've got broccoli's kind of softened up a little bit. I've got about a um, tablespoon of toasted pine nuts that I'm going to toss in there as well. And just let those come up to temperature. Mix it all together. And um, we're essentially... Good to go. Let's go ahead and um, put this in our gratin dish. Okay, here's our uh, broccoli, garlic, onions, pine nuts, all together, nice and hot. I'm gonna lay it all, make sure we get it all, into just a little ramekin here. This is actually a uh, little creme brulee, um, what do you call it, ramekin, that, um, that I use for gratins like this all the time. I think, you know, filling them up and then Coming to the table with a little dainty gratin is, uh, is very cool. So here are my breadcrumbs. Remember that we, add, <clears throat> that we added some Parmesan cheese to and then moistened with um, Parmesan cheese. For me, this is where a lot of the flavor, crunchiness, and texture comes from. So I'm not going to be shy about laying them on. Maybe three tablespoons kind of right on top and if you wanted to you could also hit it with just a little bit more olive oil right on top and then um, I've got an oven preheated to 400 degrees I'm going to throw this in there maybe on a cooking sheet just to uh, make sure there's no spillover or anything like that um, you could do this easily hour in advance and then um, you know pop it in the oven when your guests here guess get there or if you can for yourself when you're uh, when you get ready and uh, it'll probably go about 20 to 20 minutes to 30 minutes or so you're looking for a nice golden brown crust okay so I just pulled out my um, gratin of broccoli onion we got some pine nut in there and you can see the uh, you know the top has gotten nice and crispy the um, broccoli to me you know it's just barely barely tender in some spots there's probably still some broccoli in there with uh, with a little bit of crunch but that's the way I like it. If you want them all softer, you can uh, you can just cook it a little bit longer, especially in the uh, in the frying pan. 
This is our delicious broccoli gratin, and I will see you next time. Underwear speed required.